What is up guys, Polder here, welcome back to some more Advanced Wars 2. Last time we took on Flak Attack, which was the first laboratory map, where uh, there was like a hidden objective to uncover a map that unlocked an extra mission and unlocked this one that we'll get to later. Uh, but today, is this Andy? No, I want to do the one with Andy, since we have not read his uh, CO info yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and return to Andy, still fighting Flack. Oh, but this girl has popped up. Okay, Flack, 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 Flack. The, <laughs> the black cannon's ready to go. Got it, thanks. Lash. Okay. No, smash him good. Don't forget, you promised to be a guinea pig in my next experiment. Oh. Yeah, I remember. Well, I'm off. Toodles. Have fun. Oh yeah, almost forgot Hawk said to hurry and conquer Orange Star. Hawk said, crush, I gotta crush them here. I have to crush them all. Okay. Andy's time. Uh, oh, what is that? Pardon me, ma'am. Commander Andy's arrived. Thank you. Send him in. Hey, Nell, how are things looking? That's what concerns me. Do you see that giant cannon? Oh, that's a cannon. Oh. Wow, it's huge. I've never seen anything like it. A cannon that size is a first for me, too. The Black Hole Army seems to be much more of a threat than last time. You got that right, now. Let me take care of this. Max, what are you doing here? Come on, Nell. This job's too much for Andy. You need someone of my strength to take out that cannon. Hey, I can do this. Knock it off, Andy. War isn't a game. You'll just get hurt. Max, I have faith in Andy. Even if he's not as powerful as you are, he can do things no one else can. I think this would be a good experience for him, so let's let him handle this. Don't come crying to me if he gets hurt. Yo, Andy, you sure you're up for this? You know it. Sit back and watch, Max. Okay. Hey, what's up with this? There are hardly any units deployed. Oh, we get uh, we get to buy units now. It's up to you to decide which units you need and where to deploy them. Deploy them? You mean I have to form units as I go along? That's exactly what I mean. See those two properties next to your HQ? Those are deployment properties called bases. You can deploy ground units from them. To deploy units, select a base and press the A button. Now there's a window at the top of the screen, right? The 6,000 you see here is the amount of funding you have. Funds increase depending on the number of properties you control. You receive 1,000 per property each day. You currently have your HQ, two bases, and three cities. That amounts to 6,000 in funds. I get it. Funds increase on the day after I capture a new property. That's exactly right, Andy. Then use that money to, de to deploy more troops. Select a base, press A button to select the type of unit you want to deploy. The number next to the unit is its deployment cost. Remember, units cannot move on the day that they are deployed. In this case, yes, that should work. First, you need to increase your funds, so deploy some infantry or mech units and capture some neutral properties. Don't forget to use your APCs and T-copters to transport units or properties further out, too. As for combat, you've got some room to maneuver, so I'd advance, uh, recommend advance, whatever she said, with tanks and artillery. When you can afford it, well, okay, yes. Once you capture neutral bases, yes. Intel on the giant cannon, this may be rough going, but do your best. It's like, okay, you're just telling us everything else we don't need to know right now uh here i go keep watching max i'm gonna show you something okay uh it's like he has a base there I was like flak cannon okay he has 99 health can i cannon do not enter a lash invention a powerful cannon with unlimited ammo and huge range Oh! Alright! Got it! <laughs> um... We can buy recons, too. Alright. Oh wait, we need a... So, is it ready? Hmm, the cannon? Nope, not yet. It's gonna take the rest of the day just getting ready to fire. 
Uh, is that so? Guess I'll go take charge of the battle then. Okay, totals. Tomorrow's the day. Andy, I've got some intel on that monstrosity. It's called a Black Cannon. It's supposed to have a huge range of fire. Use the B button to check it out. That's just a prototype, though, so it can only fire once every two days. It's designed to fire on the strongest unit within range. I'll get back to you once I get some intel on its weak points. Okay. Understood. Strongest unit in its range, huh? Oh, sh I... well... <laughs> Mess that one up. APC... Cap that. Alright, go there. And yeah, we'll continue on. I already forgot again. Okay. Andy, I've discovered the enemy's weak point. Alright, way to go, Nell. When you attack the block, uh, the black cannon, aim here for the door. Check the cursor window to see its HP. If you can take out the black cannon, victory is yours. That thing surprised me at first, but it's nothing to fear now. Good luck, Andy. No problem, I'll take care of it. Okay, kind of terrifying, you know, just, just slightly. Uh, okay. Be on our way there. Uh, where is it? Okay. So we're fine. Uh, let's do a recon. I see you've deployed a recon unit. You won't notice here, but recon units have large vision ranges. They're invaluable in fog of war. They also have extended movement ranges and can take on infantry and mech units with decent success. They're handy units to have around. Oh, yes. Um, and we will do... Yeah, a medium, or not medium, a small tank. Okay. I'll put him there. Uh, okay, see you Andy, a mechanical boy wonder. Impulse, impulsive to a fault, here's fiercely protective of friends. Hit mechanics, miss waking up early. I feel that. Uh, no real weaknesses, proficient with air, sea, and land units, ready to fight wherever and whenever. So hyper repair restores 2 HP to all units, and the hyper upgrade restores 5 HP to all units. Firepower rises and movement increases by one space. That sounds really good. But he is very, you know, like I said, very average with everything. No weaknesses, no strengths. All right, that is Andy, uh, and so yeah, they're taking that. Go ahead and start capping there. Uh, and the defense of that. Get that recon up there. And I think I want Let's go that way. We got eight grand. Let's make... Let's do another recon. And then save some cash. Drop you there. That is safe, right? Yeah. All right. And... Actually... Should have thought of this sooner. Oh, that's gonna be annoying, but I <laughs> we at least have the extra defense. There's 63. Pretty good there. Uh, I want to be just super aggressive with the recon. Oh, wait, what? <sighs> that... Alright. Whatever. 
I wanted to drop him so I could start capping it next turn, but so much for that. How much cash? We got 11, uh, 16 for mediums. I want to make a regular tank, and I'll wait. Okay, so seven versus six. All right. I'm taking this city. It will be done. Eventually. Okay, 31 to the APC. Uh, take this out. Okay, so... Bring that up. We'll do another one there. Uh, okay. Ugh. It's such a bad feeling. Let's just finish this off. And we have two recons. Ready to push in. As far as over here goes, there's more money. Okay, and you... I don't know how much this is gonna do. I do need it to fire though. Because every two turns, I feel like we're not gonna get graded too well here. I also didn't realize infantry could fire on T-copters. Okay. Well, finally cap this. Start capping that. Run up in here. Fire on the APC. Okay, and then... Yeah, we can try to double into this guy. Yeah, it should should kill it. Okay. Want you head that way. Get in the APC. I'm throwing that guy away. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill here. I'm not super confident with, like, I... I pretty much screwed up immediately off of turn one. As far as the aggression I wanted. But it is what it is here. Ah. Oh. That's fine. All right, come over here, take you down. All right, so now we have that. Fire on this guy so we can't take this next turn. It just will not allow it. And I should be able to finish off this APC. Fire on this guy. Okay. As far as keeping flak down. We're in a solid spot. Uh, this guy didn't fire on the infantry like I expected, though. Kind of afraid to move people in. Okay, we got 19. I think we're gonna hold off. Well, no, I can at the very least go ahead and buy...
one of those. You know what? Let's just see. I need, I need like heavy units to get in there. Put an APC over here. Yep, yippee, it's ready to fire. Black cannon attack. Okay, it's not a one shot. Which is good. This T-copter. Doing, doing its best. Okay, drop there. All right, um. Start capping it so we can get that next turn over here. Buying a medium tank. Oh, you just made a mech, okay. That's fine. Finish this. Okay. go up. And I can't decide... Let's see. How much damage is Recon? 40? Okay. <clears throat> I was like, it's gonna do a lot in return, but... I want the mech out of here. Mech scare me. Okay, this guy probably died. Yeah, he yield up to nine. <clears throat> Even with the three star defense. That's fine. All right. Cap this. Start capping that. A whole eight damage. But can only attack from the front like that. Okay, this guy essentially rendered useless. And what I might do, instead of killing that guy, 53, we're gonna wait. I will fire with this recon though. Because if there's a unit here, he can't use it to capture it. So I'm just bullying him at that point. The APC is what you deemed the most? I mean, I guess that makes sense. It was just immediately Surprising, but uh, no, I guess that checks out. That's I misclicked that. Okay. Fifteen percent, huh? All right. APC. All right, we are pretty much good to go. I don't know if like just constantly making things 
helps me at all. Instead of just letting the money sit. Alright, come up here. Medium tank, they do 55%. Okay, 22 HP left. And then we are, we are there. And is there really anything else I want to do? Not really. This guy has healed up a bit. Let's knock him back down. <laughs> Continue our bullying. End the turn. Someone's about to get shot. The medium tank. Makes sense. Does it do enough, though? Still does 27%. So 20% of, like, full? So, yeah. It had 100 HP. Yeah, it, it dies when we win, right? Uh, let's kill this guy first. Because I think we get extra points. I still feel like we were here too long. And I don't know if, like, half captures help against anything, any of that nonsense. Wahoo, I won, I won! Oh, now you've done it, Runt. I'm no Runt, my name's Andy. Name, I didn't ask her a name. Oh, I can't lose any more units, I can't. Tell the retreat, head back to base and regroup. As long as I'm here, you'll never take Orange Star. Yo, Andy, you okay? Max, how was I? Did you watch the whole thing? Yeah, I watched. That was a little close. Hey, those tanks back there, are those your troops, Max? Hmm? Oh, uh, those are... Commander Max, we received your orders and moved out at once. Well, no one ordered you to broadcast it to the entire world, soldier. Hmm. What? It's a training exercise. Gotta check those engines every now and then. Jeez, come on, boys, let's go home. You know, no, I'm really glad to have Max on our side. So am I, Andy. So am I. <laughs> Mission complete. It's just a little bit of insurance. 98, yeah, I figured, it still was S, but I figured it was a little slow. Uh, Close enough, though. I did it, did you see that? But the tank, or the, the giant cannons, that is definitely not something I remember whatsoever. Uh, That's really cool. They, uh, I'm sure that being the intro to them, they may not be so cool later. <laughs> I feel like those could very easily become, uh, very, very terrifying to deal with. But only time will tell. Either way, another mission complete. Uh, we are closing. I think we're over the halfway point. This was, what, mission five. I think there are only ten, uh, in Orange Star. So we're at the halfway point for Orange Star. Good shit. The, the tutorials are easing off. That was more of a standard map feel. Buying units and moving them around. Cool. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye.